What's up guys, V here. And in today's video, I wanna show you these brand new Lian Lee SL120 version twos. So on this setup right now, I took these out of my PC. These are the version twos, the black ones. And then these white ones here are the version ones just for comparison. And then all the rest of the fans inside the PC are version twos as well. Just a quick disclaimer, these were sent to me for free for this video, but I will give you my full honest review. And uh, yeah, I just like to be completely transparent about this kind of stuff. So first things first, they are still daisy chainable as you can see down here, which means less cable clutter. And this time around, they converted from a two cable system to a single cable system. Now, obviously when you have 10 standard RGB fans in your case, you end up having a lot of cables because standard RGB fans come with two cables, one for PWM and one for RGB. The beauty about these is they come with a single cable so it cuts down on the cable clutter a ton. However, with the version twos, they made it even more versatile. They came out with this connector here, which would basically uh, connect somewhere like this. And then this other end would plug into another set of fans. So what that means is one single cable can now control up to six fans. So, Assuming you had 12 fans, if you had a big giant case and you had 12 fans in your case, with this little adapter thing, you could potentially plug in 12 fans with literally two cables. That is absolutely insane. Just for comparison, let me show you my old fans. So here's my old fans. That's three fans. That's how many cables for three fans. Now imagine trying to <laughs> maneuver these going from the top to the side, to the bottom, to the back, and all into one bunch, into, into one or two controllers in the back. That is wild. It's just amazing that you can now daisy chain up to six fans all on one little cable and control all six of them independently. So that's truly amazing. Now, along with all those cable improvements and everything, they also made another improvement, which uh, is pretty cool on these top fans. It has like a bulky connector like that looks like this. And basically that used to be the connector for the fans. Now they made it much less bulky. It's a very tiny connector. And the reason they did that is because for people with radiators or for people that have smaller cases and it's just a tighter fit, they didn't want that bulkiness to get in the way of any radiator fittings or anything like that. I do like that improvement. Uh, it allows you to easily maneuver them because once they're plugged in, they're very flat cables. They made them flat. So it's it's uh, it's really nice. As you can see on screen, It's they're really, really flat cables, very thin. Now, if you see here on the version ones, it has these interlocking keys or pins. They are not removable. They're stuck here forever. On the version twos, they made them removable which is really nice because it gives overall a cleaner look. This is the top of the fans here. And as you can see, they are flat. Now for the lighting, they also made a few improvements, although they still look very similar as you can see. When looking at the fans from the sides, you can see that this little area right here is a more clean cut. So it looks a lot better and cleaner. They also reduced the gap uh, between the RGBs on the fans, as you can see here. Um, so they minimized that gap and they made it smaller by 2.6 millimeters, which is really, really nice when they're interlocked together. There's less of a gap and it just looks really clean. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but they are a little more bright and more vivid overall. The, the lighting on the V2s is a little more bright, more vivid just looks a bit nicer and cleaner. Here you can see the back of the fans. The back of the fans on the old ones had the cable exposed. And as you can see, the new ones do not have that cable exposed anymore besides that little gap, which I think is perfectly fine. You can see some back here in the case, it looks a lot cleaner. And then on top of that, I put these stickers back here, but originally they it's just like a bunch of numbers and letters and crap. So now they have a little aluminum cover piece that comes pre-installed so it's a lot cleaner and nicer now these new fans are also 
three millimeters thicker from 25 millimeters to 28 millimeters, which according to Lian Lee translates to better performance due to the better airflow and static pressure. Now, I am personally not a professional when it comes to static pressure and airflow and all that stuff, but I will talk about the specs real quick for those of you that care, and then we can move on. So the version one's airflow was 58.5 CFM, and the new V2 now has a 64.5 CFM. Now the static pressure also went up just a tiny bit though, from 2.54 to 2.59, which isn't a big gain, but when you consider the fact that the old ones already had really good static pressure for radiators and stuff, I think that's solid. They work really great on my radiator that's back here. So no complaints, no issues. The new fans also do support the zero RPM mode like the infinity fans. Typically, I'd say idle temps and maybe slightly above, like up to 40 degrees C. Uh, just set it to zero RPM mode. Once it reaches above that, you know, then turn it back on. Now, the RPM range is also improved on the version twos. Uh, so they go from 250 RPM to 2000 RPM. I think the max on the version ones was 1800 or something like that. So very nice. Uh, I like the fact that they can go so low and so high. It's perfect for a wide range of things and it depends when you really need uh, that much airflow. They're fairly quiet at 29.2 dB full speed. However, I don't think I ever hit full speed uh, unless I'm like manually uh, doing it. But overall, you know, they stay pretty quiet in my setup and you can play around with the RPM ranges and everything and see what works best for you. Now for the rest of the specs, these will come in black and white as you can see and the new white ones also come with white cables as you can see which is very nice and then the little rubber pieces right here are no longer gray like those. They're all white so they're pure white, very nice and they just look overall much cleaner than the previous models. They also will come in 120 millimeter which is what I have and 140 mil and the 120 mils will come with a three pack as you can see here. The 140 millimeter as of right now will not come in a three pack, at least that's my assumption. I didn't get the news if, if they are gonna have a three pack, but yeah, three pack for these and then single pack. Now keep in mind the single pack does come with that double cable like I talked about, but the three pack comes with extra cables that are the single cables. So if you wanna plug everything up to your new controller you can do so just using the cables that came in the three pack or like i said you can daisy chain them together with this now as mentioned before if you buy the single pack and you have the version ones the single pack comes with these dual cables and those dual cables are the same cables that came with the version one so they do work with the version one controller now if you're confused about installation or anything i will have a full detailed install video Link will be down in the description if you're interested in that. Now for pricing, the 120 mil single pack will be $26.99. The 140 mil single pack will be $29.99 and the 123 pack will be $89.99 and all of those numbers are US dollar. So that's basically everything about the changes and the upgrades and the fans. I mean, they look a lot better overall and uh, I, I'm really liking the direction they're going. Uh, the only thing I wish is that they would finally make the fans RGB as well. I know they have the other models and stuff, but I think this side lighting with a full RGB fan would look absolutely amazing. But that's me being picky and that's just personal preference. But, you know, they could offer a full RGB mode, right? For crazy people like me that love RGB. <laughs> but yeah, here's my opinion though. If you're looking for brand new fans or you're looking for new fans overall and just you're building a new PC or something, these should definitely, definitely be on your list. Whether you're using radiators in the build, whether you need good airflow without radiators, et cetera, et cetera. Good software, good lighting, very versatile. Highly recommend these, highly recommend these, worth every penny in my personal opinion. Now, if you already have 10 version one uni fans and uh, you're happy with them but you're just wondering if it's worth the upgrade i don't think there's a big enough jump to really upgrade 
but it's completely up to you. I mean, I think they're worth it, but I also think that the old ones are also worth it, especially if you find the old ones on sale or something, and you would rather get those and save a, a few bucks, then, you know, you could always do that. But anyways, that's my take. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.